Hello and welcome. My name is Dr. Christopher Shank and it's my pleasure to introduce and discuss with you today the linguistics and English language degrees that we offer at Bangor University. Bangor University is a community of students and teachers and researchers and we focus on studying the full nature of language and communication. Linguistics has been taught at Bangor University since the 1960s and it makes us one of the longest established linguistics degrees in the UK. Our staff is international and has a range of interesting uh, research experiences and expertise. If you start in the left hand corner, Marco, my colleague, is an expert on minority languages, language revitalization, and phonology. Tora is an expert on discourse analysis and language and communication. Panetta is our resident Welsh linguist and expert in sociolinguistics and historical linguistics. To his right, Irene. She is an expert in language acquisition and language disorders. I'm on the far right. I'm a person who works on language variation and change. I'm the resident corpus linguist, and I also study critical discourse analysis and issues related to language and gender. On the second row, Athi is our newest lecturer. She's an expert in psycholinguistics and TEFL. To her right, Sarah is our resident phonetician, and she's also an expert on language and technology. In the center, Alan Wallington, he is our expert in semantics and pragmatics and morphology and syntax. The next two, Clara and Jessica, are our resident TEFL team. Clara is an expert uh, in the classroom with TEFL teaching, theory and materials design. And Jessica is also an expert in classroom, which is also much more experienced in terms of methodology, TEFL theory and blended learning. On the bottom row, you'll probably recognize David Crystal. He's a professor emeritus. He doesn't really need much of an ex explanation. And to the right of him is our newest professor emeritus, Martin Ball. He is a well-established expert in the field of speech language therapy. The question is, why would you want to study at Bangor University? Well, we are a small school, but we offer an incredibly rewarding, and I would like to say um, satisfying student experience. Uh, we have uh, several good indicators of this. If you look at the Guardian League tables 2019, we achieved a 95% overall student satisfaction. This is also echoed in our 2019 NSS student results, where we were above 90% in terms of overall student satisfaction. As a university, we are top 13 in the UK for research. Um, Bangor's research is at the forefront of linguistics. We often post very well. And in, with respect to our impact case studies also from the 2014 uh, REF process, we uh, had uh, nearly 100% of our, our studies, case studies were indicated as world leading and excellent. What we do at Bangor is, is schedule and organize our teaching around um, of the latest research, what we do. So as I said, our staff has a lot of research specializations. Uh, we do things like language acquisition, bilingualism, cognitive linguistics, language change, language disorders, sociolinguistics, um, language variation, second language acquisition, and so on. To do this, we have several state-of-the-art laboratories. We have a uh, sound recording booth, a professional grade sound recording booth uh, in the third floor of our building. We also have an eye tracking laboratory, and soon we will also have a laboratory to work on uh, the sign language aspects, visual aspects of language. Our degrees. So typically we offer linguistics, English language, and English language and linguistics degrees. Now there are all kinds of combinations that you can have. We have students doing English language or linguistics with creative writing, English literature, journalism, English studies, film studies, history, psychology, media studies, sociology, criminology, and with a whole host of modern languages, including Chinese. When you study linguistics, uh, you'll study things such as the different sounds and how sounds are, are perceived, so phonetics and phonology, word meaning, semantics, uh, the meaning that words have and constructions have above the word level, so pragmatics. You'll look, study things like syntax and morphology, so how words are created and how sentences are created, aspects of language in the brain, and of course, bilingualism. If you study the English language track, we'll take a broader look at language and communication. So we'll do more along the lines of the structure of English. We'll look at things like the history of English, how to teach English, TEFL pedagogy, and world Englishes. 
When you study linguistics and or English language, there are a lot of other areas that you can go into. As I said before, we have experts in these fields and we also teach modules on them. So first and second language acquisition, psycholinguistics, corpus linguistics, Welsh linguistics, language change, historic linguistics, language contact and bilingualism, advanced phonology, and language disorders. I'm very excited to t let you know that in 2021, we've got a new degree uh, it will be offered to our current our incoming cohort, English Language for Speech Language Therapy. This is a unique interdisciplinary degree. It will feature classes from linguistics and English language, uh, psychology, education, and medical sciences. Um, this degree is not designed, you will not graduate as a certified speech language therapist, but it will give you the background and workplace experience needed for a strong MSc in speech language therapy application. And furthermore, if you decide not to go on after your three years into a career in speech language therapy, you'll be well positioned for graduate work in linguistics, psychology, language acquisition, bilingualism, and so on. So what is it like to study at Bangor University? Well, typically what we have are in the first year, contact hours, you'll have three two-hour lectures and a one fortnightly tutorial session for each lecture. Our lecturers have a minimum of one hour office hour per week scheduled, of course. All of our lectures can be seen by appointment. Uh, we also now make appointments via WhatsApp and Skype and Microsoft Teams and so on. So typical class size. We normally have 50 to 60 students in a typical first year class, and it gets increasingly smaller. So in the second year, 30 to 40, and the third year, roughly 25 to 30. Uh, what we do is we divide the lectures, the seminar sessions up so that we can delve into topics and details and readings in greater detail. It's also a question that a lot of students have is how much freedom of choice do I have with respect to modules? Well, what we try to do is provide a, a good sort of common theme of and core classes with respect to English language and literature. So for the first year and a half, you will be focusing on the fundamentals of linguistics. So it's fairly fixed. In the second year, second semester, this is where you often open up and you can take classes with respect to discourse analysis, English language and history, um, bilingualism, language and communication. So we do offer some greater degree of flexibility in the second year and then the third year we offer a full range of specializations uh, of which i've mentioned earlier first year modules so our current selection all students will take introduction to language that is introducing everybody regardless of your degree to to what you know sort of the fundamentals of language and as you can see we offer classes like language and society which is an introduction to sociolinguistics language literature and culture uh, introduction to phonetics and phonology, introduction to English grammar, and introduction to meaning. Um, as you can see, we offer um, some variation for with respect to single honors and joint honors. I'd be happy to go into more detail if you wish to uh, contact us um, and uh, with respect to your degree plans. Beyond the first year, so we offer a lot more specialized study options, so modules related to bilingualism, the history of English, discourse analysis, language change, language acquisition, uh, language disorders, teaching English, so that's a TEFL, and then Welsh linguistics, which is um, it's an English medium module, but you're studying uh, Celtic languages and Welsh in particular. In the third year, for most of our degree courses, uh, we do have a final dissertation option. Um, what we try to do is work with students to help them choose and pick a topic that interests you, especially when it comes to future career plans, whether you wish to stay in academia and go on for a master's degree or something related to employability and, and future employment. This is an in-depth, independent research project. Um, you will be assigned a supervisor, so someone who will work with you and guide you uh, throughout the, the third year on the project but it really helps develop uh, your research training and um, independent sort of ability to conduct research. Uh, we do have a lot of resources on hand to help. As I said, our language, we offer all the kinds of equipment and software that one might need. Outside of coursework, of course, the you know, you know, studies are one thing. The Bangor University is unique in that our student societies are free. 
uh, you can join as many as you want. So we do have one in-house for our linguistics degree, our linguistics and English language students. It's called the Bangor Linguistics Society. There's also student newspaper. There's also student radio, the Language Society, and so on. Um, every year we have the annual David Crystal Day. So David and his wife will come. David usually gives two lectures, one in the morning and one in the afternoon, on topics that are selected by the students. It's always a fantastic day, and, and, and David's a, a charming man, as you probably know from his multiple appearances on, on the television. Um, we are a research-oriented uh, uh, staff, so there's uh, we have uh, weekly um, lecture series and colloquiums. Uh, staff are constantly you know, pr promoting their books. We have a whole, when we do get guest lectures to come in, um, we, we certainly promote them within the department. So there's always something going on every week to help you know, further your, your interests and in education in linguistics and English language. One of the things that we really pride ourselves on is the, our ability to offer very strong one-to-one -one support. Uh, we are known for our pastoral support, student support. Uh, we have a very, we're a smaller department. We typically take between 45 to 50 um, students every year in the cohort. Um, it makes for a small uh, but very strong community. Everyone will be assigned a personal tutor from their first year. Um, that personal tutor will stay with you. Um, we do have also a very strong and award-winning peer guide scheme. Um, so peer guides, usually from the first, second, and third year, those who start out as peer guides carry through to the second and third year. Uh, all of this leads to a, a a very strong degree of communication and feedback uh, with our students and our student cohorts. Uh, it, and it has helped us develop what we think is an excellent student experience, and this is borne out by the Guardian League tables, the NSS. Uh, we do have a very strong student services uh, that can help with all kinds of issues for everything from financial to you know learning support and so on. And as I said before, we also have our Bangor Linguistic Society. The question, of course, is what skills will I develop? And what's nice about linguistics and English language is that it, it covers a whole range of, of, of skills, everything from problem solving, information retrieval, computer literacy, presentation skills, uh, data collection, data analysis, an, uh, evaluation, communication skills, and developing your critical thinking skills. All of this is important for, of course, upon graduation. Um, everyone's now very concerned, uh, rightfully so, about employability. And so we focus and make certain that employability skills are embedded into our modules, into our classes, and into our student experience throughout all three years. Um, we also have a skills and employability service. They're at Ubanga University. They help, um, they present um, colloquiums and lectures throughout the year to help increase your employability while you learn. Bangor University offers a number of internships and volunteering places. The, the student skills experience, uh, student employability services also offer one-to-one -one advice, workshops and events, and quite frankly, you know, there's, there's a lot. You can even talk to your, talk to the staff to help increase your employability throughout. What do you do after your degree? Well, students who graduate with degrees in linguistics and English language or any of our, our joint honors degrees often go into fields such as teaching, advertising, media and journalism, publishing and copy editing, TEFL, lexicography, foreign services, the intelligence services, armed forces, speech and language therapy. Again, this requires going on to do an MSc in speech and language therapy, law, translation studies, and so on. Um, our degrees also position our students well to go on to postgraduate study programs. So we have a number of students who continue on to do an MA or even PhDs. Uh, what we'd like to do, um, if you're interested and wish to connect with us, we have a Facebook page, as you can see, Facebook Linguistics Bangor, and we also have a Twitter site, so Bangor Ling EL. Um, what we'd like to do is certainly keep an eye on your email inbox for um, information regarding our Facebook uh, group and so on. And thank you very much, and we hope to see you at Bangor University.